Whenever people think of Slipknot, the riffs that generally come to mind are that of duality, psychosocial, before I forget, um, wait and bleed, uh, for example. But after being on the scene for decades, the band have so many good riffs that are just lurking in the discography that a lot of people don't know about. So I thought in this video, I would bring you five criminally underrated Slipknot riffs. Now, just a quick word before we go on. Um, if you like my channel, if you like my content, make sure you like this video, comment, subscribe. Subscribe is extra important because uh, obviously it shows, it tells the YouTube algorithm that people like the content and then it'll push it to more people and then the channel will grow. Uh, and then it will allow me to continue doing what I'm doing. Another point is if you really like what I'm doing, I also have a Patreon account. So I'm gonna include a link to that in the description below. So head over there if you wanna support me monetarily. Uh, no obligation, of course, but you will get perks with that, including guitar tabs, backing tracks, and other cool, fun stuff like that. I also run a transcription service. So if there's a song that you're dying to learn, but you can't find an accurate tab for anywhere on the internet, I also run this transcription service. So you can uh, head over to my website. I'll include a link to that in the description below. And there you'll be able to put in a link to the song you wanna learn or attach a file. And then I'll take a listen to it and get back to you with a price quote. But anyway, without further ado, here are five criminally underrated Slipknot riffs. First up is The Shape from Iowa. This one's the ninth track on the album. And it has one of those sort of fiery Slipknot riffs kind of reminds me of Warranty off the new album. It's kind of got that same level of grit and like that kind of up-tempo, high energy quality that Slipknot are known for. Next up, we got another track from Iowa and it's Metabolic, 13th track on the album. This riff is banging, it's not 4-4. 4-4 tends to be the kind of accessible time signature for most music listeners and that's completely understandable, of course. Um, but Metabolic is in an odd time signature. Uh, it kind of like shifts between 4-4 uh, four, four and 5-4 and then a, a couple of bars of 2-4 in there as well. Um, so it's kind of all over the place. It's very interesting to listen to and it's very, makes very uneasy. It's very unnerving, which is exactly why anybody would listen to Slipknot. And third on this list is Prosthetics from the self-titled debut. Again, it just has that super Slipknot-esque like brooding quality that's like really unnerving and it kind of like puts you really on edge. Um, and I just think it's like really, really creepy. And I think that's, you know, again, such a creepy, like Slipknot just do creepy riffs so well. And next up on this list, uh, I'm gonna have to say Pulse of the Maggots. Um, you could, I mean, a lot of people would argue that this isn't underrated because it is quite a big song of theirs, but just that opening riff after it all builds and then you've got like a few sort of like palm muted notes and then sort of combined with the, the crowd chant vocal as well. It's just got so much power.
And last on this list is Gematria, the killing name from All Hope Is Gone. Now, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I've never really known for sure. It's been one of, you know, you know, you have those words where like, you're not entirely sure how, how uh, you pronounce it. So I live in fear of uh, someone in the comment section being like, you fucking idiot. You got it wrong. Um, but anyway, yeah, that one, the second track from All Hope Is Gone, that opening riff, it just sets the stage for All Hope Is Gone, which in my opinion is one of Slipknot's best records. Um, so yeah, it just sets the stage so well. It's got that energy, it's got that kind of chromaticism, which makes you feel uneasy again. It's just got that power, got that energy. What more is there to say? I'm not even sure. Um, so here's how to play the riff from Gematria, The Killing Name. <laughs> Thanks again for watching this video guys, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like this video, comment, subscribe, um, so we can grow the channel and so I can continue to bring you new and better content on a more frequent basis. Again, if you really like what I do, you can support me on Patreon. Um, there's a link to that in the description below. Um, and again, hit me up on my transcription service if there's a song you really wanna learn but can't find a tab for. And finally, I've also got the Sightline Guitar Academy. If you're a beginner looking to sharpen your skills with some new techniques, again, link to that in the description below. And I think that's everything. I'm not gonna bore you anymore. So have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching.